The, um, the church tasted to the so we've got the 2008 Sauvignon Blanc to taste here first, and then I think we're going to kick up with some Burgundy and also some other Sauvignon. So I'll keep you posted. So this is the church in 2008, and I get a bit of mint on the nose. It's very delicate in structure. I must get a bit of heat off the back of that. I get this lemon kind of almost a, a sherbet character right at the back. Get kind of real steel minerally kind of character as well. The O8. Yeah. Fresh marabat days with chips some, some asparagus. <laughs> yeah. uh, with some chips. Yeah, fish and chips and a bit of some mushy peas. Marabat peas. A little bit. Yeah, that one just leaves me it's like almost a satin kind of taste in my mouth. It's yeah. like kind of silky satin, but it's not 100% pure silk. Yeah. It was interesting when we The acidity is a bit higher than the O8. Very strong. This is a ladder set, queer fumey white. It's got a funky, funky nose. It's almost um, it's a bit of hay. Lemony hay. It's definitely French. Yeah, it's definitely French. Mineral. Mm. That mineral is lovely. Yeah. That, it's a really nice mineral kind of character. It's got this Lovely big mouthfeel. Mm. Yeah. Now it's a different level of complexity. Yeah. Mm. Mineral mm. element is far, far away from the other two. Yeah. So this is the Blanc Fumé Didier Dagonel, which is probably the king of the Loire, or until he died in his microlite accident. So this is one of the one of the premium wines from that um, that region. This is the um, um, right off the nose, and this is the 07. It's like melon wrapped yes. round with prosciutto on the nose. There's a slight bit of kind of um, green Ever eaten chalky flint? That's what you get off this wine. Because it's clay. That chalky flint kind of thing. The Didier Dagno. Um, you get this lemon kind of citrus kind of character wrapped around this flinty, chalky kind of palate white. It's incredible. There's some nice racy acid. You look like the rabbit in the headlights. <laughs> this is the Chert No. 7. I'm just laughing. That was a bad spit. It was a bad spit and then you made me cover Yeah. Um, the 07 Chert. And now I get this kind of hubba bubba chewing gum, black, bram, black kind of brie on the bramble. Um, real intense nose. There's a lot of sweetness. Yeah, I thought I would say this. I think the boat, uh, the oak in the background, which has that Burgundian quality to it. <coughs> and then I get this kind of chalky kind of minerality. Oh, what a great name. Chalky yeah. minerality. A Burgundian. But still very bright Abergundian. fruit. Abergundian. It's not a. You must get a kind of leathery a. kind of character right at the end, but it's still very bright red fruit yeah. for me. Yeah. But very well balanced. Now, for me, the, the Chert in 2006, which is strong, has got it's almost got a 
plasticky, so we, so it's a plastic kind of fungus with a bit of kind of red fruit in the back. And um, totally and, and and then and what do you get? I think it smells like the sea. The sea? What? Well, really saline. Yes. Salty. Yeah, slightly caramel. Saline. I've got caramel Salty. as well down here. Oh, did you? Yeah. I've got, I've got fungus some. with caramel plastic and red and black fruit. Oh, I don't see what you mean by plastic. Yeah. Not in a derogatory way. Just an interesting kind of um, layered way. And then on the, I get very little kind of bright fruit on the palate. Yeah. I just get this minerality, really dry character on the palate. Extremely dry. Like the smell of a fresh pressed iron. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. Yeah. Right at the bottom. This is the 2006. Um, Domain Michel Lafarge Vendage Selection A, and um, I've got to say that you almost get a spearmint chewing gum character on the nose, followed by a bit of red fruit and almost a, a barnyard, real subtle barnyard kind of character underneath. Tobacco coming hmm? Tobacco coming oh, I didn't get the tobacco, but now, now it's only now. Yeah, 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 there, there is, there is a bit of kind of almost a bit of molasse kind of character there, and also that that tobacco leaf. Um, but then I get this, I get this amazing structure where I get a kind of minerality. I get this kind of acid. I get some beautifully laced tannin. Um, yeah. So here we are, this is the SSU, SSU Old Vines from um, Mongera Munure and um, I get a kind of almost a brie kind of brie tobacco black cherry um, with a bit of barnyard right at the back of the barn kind of barnyard smell and um, well, I haven't, uh, I have, uh, almost yeah almost a bit of chicken poop you mm. I agree with that, with that kind of warm egg, freshly laid egg. Take me for the city. I get that red kind of almost sour cherry on the palate. I get a really kind of nice linear kind of structure, but I get a bit of heat that comes through. Um, yeah. It's still city days. So now we're doing the 2003 Churton Pinot Noir. This one I just get big, bold, bright red fruit. I don't get any kind of, a, of the funk from um, a kind of old world. It's definitely new world. It's very, very clean. Can develop, develop much on the nose? Um, Tea and cedar? And I, I just get this bright, bright red fruit mm. that dominates the raspberries and, and a bit of black yeah. cherry and stuff like that. Very characteristic. Oh, yeah. And then I get this kind of almost a salami kind of character on the palate with this kind of red fruit um, and it's like an angry teenager um, but it's, no, it's, it's an angry teenager these are the guys that I've got to deal with yeah. um, it's like an angry kind of useful teenager that's kind of a bit angsty but doesn't know what it wants to be it's a bit kind of emo and then it's a bit kind of um, a bit grungy and funky um, so yeah, I think it's just a, just the wine that's a little bit old. Yeah, <laughs>